Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I wanted to show you all this cool little handheld I got for only 10 bucks. It's got a boatload of good NES games like Double Dragon, Super Mario Brothers, Tiny Toons, Ninja Turtles 2, Contra, Pac-Man, Spy vs. Spy, Blades of Steel, and lots of other really good NES games. It says it's got 500 games, and so far I haven't found any repeats, so hey, that's, you know, pretty good. The device itself is super light and actually weighs less than my phone. The buttons feel pretty responsive, and they're sort of like these soft clicky buttons, which I think feel really nice. Even though my screen came with a stuck pixel, I still think it looks pretty good overall. It's bright, and the colors look nice and vibrant. The sound isn't too bad either. Here, take a listen for yourself. It's also got a headphone jack up on top if you want to use that. It comes with a battery, USB charger, an AV cable so you could display it onto a TV, and even a second player controller. Honestly, I don't know how they can make a profit off this thing. It's got a little bit of everything and it's only 10 bucks. Some of the things I don't like include the main menu music, which is just awful. After a while, it gets really annoying. Luckily, you can adjust the volume for that. Something else I noticed is that some games are slightly modified. For example, in Blades of Steel, there are different countries than the original. The game plays exactly the same, but for some reason the countries are different. I don't remember Brazil being in the original game. There's also a few homebrew games here and there, which I think is pretty cool, but other people might only want to play original NES games. I think being able to connect it to a TV is a great idea, but the cable it comes with is super short. And the same thing goes for the second player controller. I think it's cool how you can play two players, but I wish the cables were longer. I really think this device is best for just single player use. The handheld isn't perfect, but I feel like you can't really complain for 10 bucks. At worst, you could just play it a few times and maybe give it away after you beat a few games. And at best, you can have this little machine that you can play anywhere and not really worry about losing or breaking it, because after all, it's only 10 bucks. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Thanks.